NASA, America's government-funded program, which has been well widely mocked by many people for wasting billions of dollars, has been developing a solid-state battery. This battery, they say, has doubled the energy density of today's lithium-ion batteries, weighs 40% less, and doesn't use nickel, cobalt, or manganese. It actually sounds incredible if it is in fact as good as they claim it will change the industry forever making gasoline powered airplanes a thing of the past hello my friends welcome to the channel on the electric viking great to see you welcome to all the new subscribers welcome back everyone else thank you for tuning in hope you've had an amazing day thank you to those of you who have been supporting the channel whether as members or on Patreon, really appreciate your support. And I'll put some links in the channel, in the description below, if you want to support us, that would be great. So, NASA, what are they doing? Well, they've been working on a new solid state battery technology. And so far, the results actually do look quite promising, which to me is a surprise. To be fair, NASA has been fairly criticized. Now, a lot of people have been hearing about this battery and saying, Government research is excellent. It works all the time. It's brilliant. It's amazing. I've read these comments and I've seen a lot of them and I don't agree with that. I think, yes, sometimes government research works well and other times, in the case of NASA themselves, I mean, to be fair, their program to build rockets has been a, an unmitigated disaster. They've invested billions and billions of dollars for very, very little in terms of actual real results. We know that because, well... We've been tracking this SpaceX, the advent of Tesla and SpaceX has made us realize that the private industry, in particular SpaceX, have been able to be much more efficient with their use of funds and develop rockets that are not only efficient, but also can be reused at a much quicker rate. I mean, that's the truth. But in this case, surprisingly, it appears as though NASA actually is developing a very impressive product. This new solid state battery really could be a game changer. If you think about it, right? If it really is 40% lighter, which they claim it is, and I don't think they're lying, and has doubled the energy density of today's batteries, plus doesn't use nickel, cobalt, or manganese, plus it also doesn't have any flammable liquids because it's a solid state battery, meaning it basically wouldn't set fire to itself at all, ever, then this would absolutely change the game, not only for American technology, but for the way we fly, for the way we travel. Imagine this kind of battery technology, how this would change the world. There is so many ways that this would change everything. Clean Technica says that researchers at NASA are chasing a dream, advanced solid state batteries, that will power electric aircraft, and who knows, maybe even rockets. It's solid state architecture batteries for enhanced rechargeability and safety, called the SABERS, S-A-B-E-R-S program, is centered at the agency's Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, but is collaborating with researchers at Georgia Tech, Argonne National Laboratory, and Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. In a press release, NASA says that unlike conventional lithium-ion batteries, solid state batteries do not contain liquids that lead to overheating, fire, and loss of charge over time. Issues that may sound familiar to anyone who uses large electronics. In addition, solid state batteries can hold more energy and perform better in stressful environments than conventional lithium ion batteries. In fact, they can hold a lot more energy. The theoretical energy density of a solid state battery is about five times that of where we're at today with traditional lithium ion batteries. It's enormous. Five times would completely change everything. Imagine a battery in your vehicle providing you five times as much range, right? At a lower weight with infinite recharging cycles. That is the dream, right? That's what NASA are chasing. Sabres is exceeding its goals, says Rocco Vigiano, principal investigator for Sabres. We're starting to approach this new frontier of battery research that could do so much more than lithium ion batteries can. The possibilities are absolutely incredible. Battery performance is a key aspect in the development of more sustainable electric aircraft. 
whose batteries must be able to store huge amounts of energy required to power an aircraft while being as light as possible. And obviously that's one of the key drawbacks right now with aeroplanes moving to using batteries. Although some, some airlines are already moving to batteries, Elon Musk has said we need to hit an energy density of around 400 watts per kilo to make electric powered aircraft actually feasible. Now, companies are starting to make them already and we are actually starting to see traditional lithium ion batteries now approach this magical number of 400 watts per kilo. However, solid state batteries can potentially reach a significantly higher energy, energy density than that. Plus, they can also be up to 40% lighter. And if you're trying to get an airplane in the air, that reduction of weight is enormous. The amount of energy a battery can store is only one side of the equation. In addition, a battery that is suitable for aviation purposes must be able to discharge its stored energy at a rate sufficient to power an electric aircraft or unmanned aerial vehicle. I mean, we need batteries, right, that give us huge amounts of range. Right now, there just isn't any batteries that are capable of being put into an aircraft that could fly us from, say, Sydney to Los Angeles, Los Angeles to France, Paris, for example, that is what we need. We need batteries, right, with enough energy density that we can actually replace large commercial aircraft. Now, NASA says that's actually coming. And they say a battery is like a bucket. Its capacity is how much the bucket can hold, while its power is how fast the bucket can be emptied. To power an electric aircraft, the battery must discharge its energy or empty its bucket at an extraordinarily fast rate. Sabres has been experimenting with innovative new materials not previously used in batteries, such as sulfur and selenium, which have produced significant progress in power discharge. During the past year, the team successfully increased their battery's discharge rate by a factor of 10, and then by a factor of five again. So these batteries, right, they're not using these rare earth materials, cobalt, nickel, so they'll be cheaper in that aspect. They're using sulfur. It's much more abundant and much more affordable than nickel and cobalt. That is another big step in this development. That fact alone means these batteries have much more commercial possibility than if they potentially were going to be more expensive by using nickel and cobalt. Now, these new materials will lead to additional design changes. The Sabres team realized solid state architecture has allowed them to change the construction and packaging of their battery to save weight and increase the energy it can store. A bigger bucket, in other words, says Clean Technica. Instead of housing each individual battery cell inside its own steel casing, the way conventional lithium ion batteries do, all the cells in Sabres battery can be stacked vertically inside one casing. This is thanks in part to this battery's unique design. Sabres has demonstrated that its solid state batteries have an energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram. That's about twice that of current batteries available commercially. And yes, there are some companies producing batteries with a higher energy density than that. However, those batteries are of course lithium ternary batteries. They're not lithium ion phosphate. Lithium ion phosphate batteries are the safer batteries which we don't see catching fire very, very rarely. Lithium ternary batteries are the batteries that we still have issues with. Occasionally, it's not common, but it does happen. NASA said, not only does this design eliminate 30 to 40% of the battery's weight, it allows us to double or even triple the energy it can store, far exceeding the capabilities of lithium ion batteries that are considered to be state of the art today. Safety is a key requirement of batteries in electric aircraft. Unlike liquid batteries, solid state batteries don't have a flammable electrolyte. So basically, they're very, very, very extremely unlikely to catch fire. And if you think about it, right, when we have aircraft in the sky, what are they doing? Well, they're setting fire to gasoline. So solid state batteries would be substantially safer than what we have today. Sabre researchers have tested their battery under different pressures and under different temperatures. Temperatures, that's very important, of course. These batteries would need to work at extremely cold temperatures to work in an aircraft. They've found they can operate in temperatures nearly twice as hot as lithium ion batteries without needing much cooling technology. Now, of course, the less cooling technology you need, the more you can decrease the weight. The team is continuing to test their batteries in hotter and in cold conditions, 
And not surprisingly, this research has generated huge interest from government, industry, and academia. This year, the main objective of Sabres was to show the properties of its solid state battery meet its energy and safety targets while demonstrating it can safely operate under realistic real world conditions at maximum power, which is what would be needed for many different applications, aircraft being one of them. Its research partners at Georgia Tech help pioneer different methodologies that can improve solid state batteries and make them more for practical use in aviation applications. So that's what they're looking at. They're targeting being these batteries actually being used in aircraft, in massive airlines, right? Georgia Tech has a focus on micromechanics of how the cell changes during operation. That has helped us look at the pressures inside the battery, which then helped us improve the battery even more, said Vigiano. It also led us to understand from a practical standpoint how to manufacture a cell like this, and it has led us to some other improved design configurations. So right now, there is multiple NASA centers, projects working on this battery. And of course, some of the best engineers in the United States are working on it. So many people would say that everything that government does doesn't really turn out well. Well, to be fair, that's often true, but not always. Some of the greatest inventions ever have actually been created by governments. For example, the internet came from the army. So it appears as though NASA and their research partners have or may have discovered one of the greatest inventions in history, a solid state battery, commercially viable, double the energy density of current lithium ion batteries, 40% lighter, doesn't use cobalt or, cobalt or nickel, and uses sulfur, an incredibly affordable and abundant element. Now, if all of this is true, this actually is, without question, an unmitigated game changer. And we will look back in history at this product and this point in time as being the advent of a new era, electric aircraft. Hopefully NASA will actually produce the goods. I'm excited for this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.